right, yo guys, what's up? It is Nick. Okay, I recorded this once and it just did, it just didn't go on. I made like a ton of mistakes, so we're gonna redo this now that I figured out how to better record this. But we're gonna be going over the Friday night drafts or Friday night draft champions. They call it Friday night drafts on Twitter, and they called it Friday night draft champions within the game. So we're gonna go with Friday night drafts because that's what the logo is. FND. Friday Night Drafts. Okay, but so we've got these collections. We'll go over these first, and then I'll get into what exactly this is. So we have the Elite Friday Night Heroes. You need six of the Elite Friday Night Draft badges. They can only be acquired through Draft Champions, and the Elite ones, I believe, can only be acquired through the Ranked. We'll get into that in a second, but this first set, you need six of them, and it gives you an Elite Friday Night Hero that you can sell. If you do the non-transfer one, it only takes one Elite Friday Night drafts badge but you only get you can't sell or trade the card so if you like all the elite friday night heroes which i'll go over and then i'll throw a picture up because none of them are on the auction and they're not even on mutthead yet so you're not even gonna be able to look at them yet uh but i want to get this video hopefully the video will be out i don't know eight o'clock tonight nine o'clock something like that i'll get this video out hopefully for you guys uh then we have the gold friday night heroes which i'll be going over those cards i'm hoping to throw up the pictures over let over the my game in the back in the background put you know put the pictures over hopefully you're seeing some picture while we're going over this as well through this i guess is what i'm trying to say but then you can also get elite friday night draft badges uh, from trading in five gold badges so if it turns out to be quicker you may be able to do get elite badges faster by doing um like solo drafts or non-ranked draft champions, depending on how dra ranked draft champions take you or if you can't win ranked draft champions. But what this does is there are now two legend rounds on Friday nights. They gave extra rewards and exclusive players. Those are the players that we're going to go over here in just a second. Uh, the, it becomes live at 5 p.m. Eastern every Friday, so that's 2 p.m. or 2 p.m. Pacific, uh, and then is live to 10:30 a.m every Saturday, which is 7.30 a.m. Pacific. Okay, so the rewards, you get Friday Night Badges, you redeem them in Ultimate Team Sets, and then you earn Friday Night Heroes, essentially what I just told you guys. Uh, these are your guaranteed first-time rewards. Now, I'm not sure by first-time reward, they don't really explain this that well. It's kind of like just a brief summary of what it is more than they explain it. So is it just your first-time reward for the very first time playing, your first-time reward for getting to those different ranks or is it your first time reward every friday night uh that's something obviously we need to answer but it doesn't say here uh but for solo drafts three wins equal the standard reward plus one gold fnd gold badge uh standard rewards plus one fnd gold badge for four wins and head to head drafts and in draft champions rank six wins gives you a standard rewards plus one free elite fnd badge uh so also, additional win rewards if you win more games to earn more coins. That seems pretty self-explanatory. And Friday Night Badges, guaranteed FND, the gold badge, and, and the uh, Draft Champions ranked. Uh, so you get more Friday Night Badges the more that you play. The more games that you win, I guess. Not play, win. So... Let's get into these cards now. This is kind of the main thing. So let's start off with the offensive golds. We've got Dante Moncrief, with his, which is a 79 overall wide receiver. I would show you the stats if I could, but we don't have the stats yet, so I can't show you them. We have Brandon Schreff, 81 overall right guard. 82 overall left guard, James Carpenter. 84 overall tight end, Travis Kelsey. 78 overall Brock Osweiler, 80 overall Jack Conklin, and 83 overall Brandon Cooks. All look like pretty solid cards, but without stats, uh, we can't. I can't really give you a real opinion about them because I don't really know how good they are. So moving on to defense, we've got Adrian Amos, an 82 overall free safety, 80 defensive, 80 overall defensive tackle Senderic Marks, uh, 81 overall left end Charles Johnson, 84 right outside linebacker Aaron Lynch. 78 overall middle linebacker Manti Teo, and 83 overall cornerback Ronald Darby. So the Darby actually looks like a card that I may be interested in. Other than that, none of the golds really. I guess maybe the Travis Kelsey, maybe the Brandon Cooks, but 
The golds are decent. The golds are good. I would say the golds are good. Um, but I don't think any of them would fit well on my team. But let's get into the more important thing, the elites. So we'll start down here on the bottom right with TJ McDonald Jr., 85 overall strong safety. Uh, 85 overall Derek Carr. Uh, which will probably, his stats will look something like the Kirk Cousins and Alex Smith uh, team heroes that we already have. Uh, then we have 86 overall Devontae Freeman, 87 overall right tackle Marcus Gilbert, 86 overall Anthony Barr, should be interesting to see his stats. He could easily be the second most expensive player here, depending on uh, what his stats look like and what his speed and all of that is. If it's comparable, you know, to... Him being an OP in previous months, then he should be the second most expensive card, probably just ahead of Geno Atkins, the 89 overall D tackle. We have 87 overall right end Ziggy Ansa, and then we have the real prize, the one you're going to want to pull out, especially out of the ones where you get the Elite Friday Night Hero to sell, not the non transfer, even though it would be good non transfer too, but. You really want it out of the Elite Friday Night Hero because this Odell Beckham Jr. is going to be going for three or 400,000 coins here. Uh, if you're able to get it tonight, you're going to make yourself a lot of coins. It may go for five, 600,000. Uh, obviously, we can't see the stats, which hurts in my analysis of trying to figure out how much these cards will be worth. But it should be worth no less than 300,000. We got Dak Prescott and RG3 going for two and 300,000, uh, respectively, so... I would assume a 90 overall OBJ, since 90 overall Antonio Brown is going for 350, Gronk is going for 350, Sherman's going for the 400s. It, those cards just are going for a ton. They're hard to get, hard to pull, and the OBJ is going to be just as hard to. It's going to be harder to pull out of these. You're going to end up pulling a lot of Derek Carrs. I think. I think that's probably the worst one you can pull is Derek Carr because. The quarterbacks, you get two of them from Team Heroes, and those are cheap to get, and they're just kind of so vanilla, and they're so, like, they're just a mediocre 85. Like, they, they aren't impressive in anything, but they're mediocre enough that they're useful with some things. But, guys, that's going to do it for the Elite Friday Night Drafts. Let me know what you guys uh, think about this. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to get to play it. Friday nights is going to tend to be... Homework night uh, when school really gets going, so it should be interesting, but let me know if you guys are, I don't know, let me know if you guys think the no transfer Friday Night Heroes may be worth doing over at the Elite, even though you can't sell them, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in my next episode. Peace out.